my name is Jim Boot. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, and I've got a dairy farm over here in uh, Jedinet. We started our dairy farm in 2012. We started with the first truck of 35 uh, cows. And at the moment we have 600 uh, animals at our farm. Uh, around 250 cows uh, which we are uh, milking. The rest is all is young stock. It's young stock for replacement, some young stock which we are selling. Actually the problem in Moldova is the availability of good labor force. So we decided that we are, if we want to grow uh, further in the, in the future, we need to digitalize and we need to make uh, work uh, easier, not to get more work, but to make the work easier. And one of the things which we bought to make work easier is the robot. So we don't need to do this uh, manually or with a tractor anymore, which needs again one person to do this as well during the night. This one is automatically doing on programmed hours. Uh, besides that, we invested in a separator, which is um, providing bedding for the, for the cows. Normally we did this with straw, we did this with chalk, with water, and we mixed this. But again, it was quite labor intensive. We needed to do this ourselves. It takes us a couple of hours actually every day to do this. And with the separator, we really economized time. This is our feeding robot. We bought this machine for during the night to have uh, the cows always have access to fresh feed uh, permanently. It's good for the cow health, it's good for the milk production. We don't consume diesel fuel on our tractors to push the feed closer to the cows. We have on average, due to this robot, we have around one liter per cow more per day. Because actually the robot passes, uh, as you probably hear, it has a noise. It is, uh, you can actually you can switch it on, you can switch it off. It's, it's your own desire. We, uh, we decided to switch it on because the cows are really reacting on it. So it, as well, now in the morning you don't really see this effect because we just fed the cows. But during the night when the cows actually are all in the cubicles uh, laying down, when it is completely silent in the stable, and you, they hear those, those sounds, you really see that cows are st starting to stand up and they come to eat. And because of this a little bit higher feed uptake of the cows, the more they eat, the more they produce. That's actually the whole principle. It's quite an expensive robot, let's say honestly. But it's worth it. We calculate in around three, four years, this investment has already returned itself. A lot of people know in Moldova we are the first farm which has the cow sensors in the, the ear tags in the cows. If you see every cow has the orange ear tag in it, which receives, I receive on my telephone and computer, actually all data, what's happening with those cow, what's happening with the, in general the, the, the overview of the cows, how they eat, what's their health, uh, which cows are uh, in heat and are looking for the bull for the, to be inseminated. And then of course our Uniform Agri, our general uh, management program. It's my agenda on the farm. Together with, uh, with Cow Manager, it really makes uh, work easier. At the moment we are at 27 liters of milk per day per cow and growing. With digitizing your farm, you can earn milk. Milk is money. We are always open actually to support other farmers. We always did and we still do that. If it works at us and we see really the benefits, then that means other farms as well can, can benefit of this.